after staying benign for a few years, interest rates have started to inch up due to rising inflation. During the COVID-19 period, the policy repo rate was reduced to 4% by the Reserve Bank of India. Now it stands at 6.5%. As expected, higher repo rates have led to higher interest rates for home loans. Home loan rates that hovered around the 6.5% mark in 2022 have now crossed the 9% mark. Borrowers who took home loans in 2019-20 are the worst hit. They borrowed when the interest rates were the lowest. So very clearly, there has been a very significant impact on borrowers who borrowed in 2020-21 because interest rates had gone off to historic lows during that period of time. On the back of the uh, very sharp interest rate cuts that had happened post-COVID and post the normalization process in the last one year or so, uh, EMIs have gone up very significantly. So I think a lot of uh, how... Uh, you know, borrowers need to deal with it is that, first of all, when they are taking floating rate loans itself, this is the nature of how floating rate loans actually work. That there will be periods where, uh, you know, when interest rates are low, where things will actually be very, very attractive. There'll be periods where interest rates will be high, like we are seeing right now, which, you know, is actually not good for borrowers. And then there will be periods of relative stability along the way. And historically, these cycles last for about two, two and a half years very often. Many borrowers whose EMIs consisted of 20 to 30 percent payment towards the principal now see that their entire amount goes only towards interest payment. When interest rates go up, lenders either increase the EMI or the loan tenure. What should a borrower do in such cases? I think there are quite a few ways to deal with it for borrowers. I think the default option is actually for you know, loan tenures to get extended, which is what happens a lot of times, though that is not financially a very good option for borrowers because it increases your overall interest cost over the tenure of your loan. So ideally, if the cash flows allow it, the best thing that can be done is for the EMI to be increased with, with keeping the tenure constant. The second option is that we are also at the time where a lot of uh, typically annual bonuses, incentives, variable pays get, you know, paid out. And therefore, uh, there is a, you know, very human behavioral tendency to sort of splurge with that money, saying that this is extra money that has come in. Uh, in reality, this money can actually go in and you can partly prepay your loan. And by prepaying the loan, uh, the amount of uh, loan outstanding will come down and therefore you might be able to deal with your interest uh, cost increase much better. Borrowers have other options too. They can liquidate other assets to prepay a part of the loan, or they can refinance the loans with the same or another lender, experts say. This is because of spreads on home loans. That is the difference between the benchmark rate and the actual lending rate. This spread has fallen to around 2% now, down by 60 to 70 BPS in the last year, according to a study by Bank Bazaar. Most lenders have reduced their spread in the last year, According to a Bank Bazaar report, the State Bank of India's spread, which was 275 basis points when the repo rate was 5.15% in March 2020, has fallen to 200 basis points in March this year. However, there could be a cost associated with balance transfer. One, some lenders charge processing fee, which could be a percentage of the outstanding loan amount or a flat rate. Often, lenders waive the processing fee as a special offer. In case the borrower is switching from one lender to another, they have to pay stamp duty to the state government, the rate of which varies from one state to another. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. That led success so high I will achieve I will fly high I am the eye In SBI I'm backed by the nation's trusted bank SBI I The banker to every Indian